So Remnant 2 just shipped its Awakened King DLC, and, along with it, some of the greatest clusterfucks ever added to the game. Namely among them, the ability to reach 100% cooldown reduction, allowing your abilities to hit a 0 second cooldown. Now there are some catches to this, as well as some uses that are far better than others, but let's explain. To start, we're going to explain how we are reaching the 100% cooldown reduction, and that is with the new addition of the Legacy Protocol. It reduces skill cooldowns by 20% and increases skill duration by 15. Pair this with Burden of the Rebel and Stargazer, as well as the Black Pawn Stamp and the Mythic Cooldown Reduction Fragment. Putting points into expertise allows you to hit that 100% mark. However, you don't want to actually reach 100%, because reaching 100% breaks the fuck out of the game. Any ability cast with 100% cooldown reduction will Will no longer recharge. The game seems to think that because it has no more cooldown reduction, the skill is disabled. So what we do instead is we go one point shy on expertise, putting us at 98% instead, which is still wholly functional for our purposes. And that is to spam the ever-living shit out of any ability you'd like. Some abilities are far less convenient, but my favorite two so far are Wormhole, from Invader, simply because you can spam it and this allows you to traverse areas very quickly. Personally, if you're like going for loot and you're, you know, rolling worlds right now, if you go Invader with Explorer and have the Treasure Sense active and then just warp around the entire map, you're going to be able to cover a lot of ground. But the other archetype I ended up using the most with this was Engineer. And that is because the Engineer turret, if Engineer is primary, the overclock only has a cooldown of like two seconds. Meaning if you're doing like a heavy carry shenanigan, although I don't advise doing that with this, you will be able to stay permanently overclocked. And then even if it's not in your primary slot, if you just want to lay down the turret, when it runs out of ammo, it regenerates it almost instantaneously. But beyond that, pretty much any skill that has a cooldown that triggers with the ability cast or has a short enough cooldown after the cast has finished, so like Void Cloak, that obviously won't regenerate while it's already active, but it will regenerate extremely quickly as soon as it comes off cooldown, meaning your window without Void Cloak is incredibly small. Though again, I personally prefer to just warp across the map, because especially on something like Ravager, it feels like you're just kicking sand in a kid's face. There's no way he can possibly catch you, and the iframes granted by that ability are so ridiculous, there's really no need to have auto-dodge. And then lastly is the final rule for my experimentation, it is, you cannot spam damage-dealing abilities too quickly. If you do, for whatever reason, the game will shit the bed. And you'll notice this because you can no longer cast spells anymore, and whatever you're fighting will stop moving. After a minute or so of this awkward stillness, your game will reload, and you'll find yourself back at the last crystal you touched. So just be aware of that. If you are using damage dealing abilities to spam, make sure you give it just a tiny bit of space, and try not to initiate an ability cast while one is already active. I noticed that the break would happen the most in that case.